Merry Christmas everyone, have a good one, and I pray that you can find it within yourselves uh, to keep the day holy and to not watch the TV uh, because that is literally uh, the worst thing you can be doing at Christmas. It's idolatry, it's the first and second commandments and it has been woefully overlooked. So I pray that you do that. Remember Christ on this day. Uh, it's not all about receiving gifts and Santa Claus. Uh, quite the opposite in fact. Uh, so yeah, please, please do it in remembrance of him. And as I said, uh, I'm going to go over some of the disturbing uh, things I noticed in the movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, about Willy Wonka. Um, the whole movie was wanting and obsessive, okay, especially at the beginning. Everyone wanted the chocolate and the golden ticket. Uh, this isn't Christian at all. Um, it was indulgence. Uh, so that, that was pretty bad. It was quite mad as well. There, there was a lot of madness in that movie, uh, especially the character Willy Wonka himself. Uh, this is confusion. Babble. In several places throughout the movie, uh, Wonka speaks his own language. Yeah, and several other different languages. I think French in, in some cases, um, and German. Uh, now, I'm not uh, disrespecting those languages or, or anything like that, but he does occasionally speak his own language. This is Babel, okay? Uh, we need to be careful of that. That was another thing I noticed. Uh, a lot of the scenes... Uh, what took place in them, uh, it was almost like witchcraft, okay? Um, a lot of strange things happening that didn't really make sense. Uh, once again, confusion, chaos, uh, that, that was um, worrying. And again, in several places throughout the movie, uh, Wonka is um, blowing on a pipe to summon his minions of Oompa Loompas uh, who, who came from a dark place uh, and every time the children are tempted by Wonka uh, to eat of his uh, forbidden sweets you know just like Satan Genesis eating of the forbidden fruit and then what happens to those children they're sent to his boiler room or furnace somewhere you know where they're never to be seen again yeah, the, the, <laughs> there are quite a few things. You'll never watch this movie the same again. Uh, and as I said before, uh, the Church of Satan, founded by Anton LaVey, uh, they, they approve of this movie. Uh, they, they think it accurately reflects their beliefs. Obnoxious kids, cruelty to kids as well by Wonka himself. Uh, the, ah, the the music in it, uh, the pure imagination. It's it's like a lullaby again, like a lullaby. Um, it's putting you in a trance. Uh, there was satanic brainwashing imagery on the boat when they go. Um, his, his river of chocolate, they, they get on a boat and then they go in this dark tunnel and then it gets very disturbing. Uh, it, even disturbing for children, I thought that was inappropriate for children, definitely. Well, the whole movie is, but this especially. Uh, flashing images um, that were disturbing, very. And the, the words, the lyrics, for Wonka is singing, once again, very disturbing, almost ritualistic, I would say. Uh, yeah, those lyrics, check those out. <coughs> so, 
Again, it was all imagination, pure imag imagination. Oh, I'll find the quote, actually. In a land of pure imagination, there you'll be free if you truly wish to be. Now, this is falsehood once again. I've been through this in another movie. Uh, <clears throat> God doesn't want you to do anything that is false. These are the commandments. There was an obsession. This, yeah, it was very obsessive. Um, Parting is such sweet sorrow. This is another quote from Willy Wonka. Once again, when uh, the children and the parents uh, who have uh, been seduced by Wonka um, uh, are then taken away uh, by his Oompa Loompas. So, <clears throat> several uh, things that were, were very disturbing in that movie, and you don't notice this when you're a kid, uh, but I've just seen it now. Um, and it's, it's sad, really. I, I, wish, I wish it wasn't the case. Uh, they are trying to warp the minds of our children, and the adults as well, and we don't even see these things. They go overlooked. We think it's just a harmless children's movie, but it's not. Uh, these Satanists, they're so sadistic uh, that they're trying to manipulate your children as well. And we need to be aware of that. We need to be warned of that, okay? Um, so please bear it in mind and have a very Merry Christmas, yeah? Once again, tr try to avoid... Um, sitting in front of the TV this year, yeah? It's only one day, yeah? Um, and a lot of what they show, unfortunately, on this day now, it's getting worse and worse. Every Christmas it gets worse, okay? Uh, completely the wrong thing to be showing. Okay, some more things I'm just gonna go over quickly about Willy Wonka because my phone cut out before I could finish. I got some more of his quotes. The Oompa Loompas, they're singing a song and the lyrics to this song, and uh, if you're not reading, you will go far. You will live in happiness too. Unbelievable. And right at the end of the movie, a quote from Wonka, the man who suddenly got everything he ever wanted, he lived happily ever after. End of movie. Again, wanting. Uh, the Satanists believe in this. They call it atheism. We are our own gods. Uh, they, they actually think that they're atheists. They go by the name of Satanists. And they claim that they're atheists, atheists. How ridiculous is that? Unfortunately, we do have to investigate this. Well, well, I do anyway, because I overlooked a lot of the things in that movie when I was a kid. And it was only once I'd grown up uh, and I'd studied the, the Bible that I, I scrutinized it, I, you know, I examined it thoroughly as I do with anything I watch now, and if if I wasn't doing that, it would have it would have gone overlooked again, uh, and then I would have continued to be deceived, as is everyone else in the world. So I I do need to investigate this. I'm going to uh, research some more of their beliefs, the Church of Satan because they have infiltrated uh, the movie industry and they are trying to brainwash mankind uh, w with their beliefs. So I'll do some more videos on it uh, and post them on YouTube, which brings me to my next point. Next year's videos uh, is going to be huge, okay? Uh, I've upgraded my camera, you may have noticed, uh, so the recording quality is going to be much better. Uh, I'm writing several scripts for some movies, 
Uh, I might even be looking at doing uh, a full length documentary movie. Uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. And I'm going over a lot of the prophecy um, that I mentioned in my previous play playlists. And I'm going to break down Revelation Decoded, hopefully into a, a short video, uh, just so that you get the gist of Revelation for those who don't want to watch my three and a half hour long movie on it. Uh, so yeah, there are going to be a lot of things coming up uh, in next year's videos, 2017. And I'll get back to you in a few days. I'm going to be spending Christmas with the family, uh, as you should, of course. Uh, and in remembrance of, of Christ, yeah, not Santa, the anagram of Satan, who, who just appears in everyone's living room, people who are oblivious once again uh, to these idols of Santa decorating the whole house. Uh, and <laughs> where's Christ? Where's Christ, eh? Try it. Try it right now. If you're at home for Christmas, I bet you'll, all you'll find is Santa everywhere.